G'day guys, I'm James from Betfair, joined by uh, my colleague and friend, Mr. Tom Bishop. Uh, Tom's uh, one of our data scientists here. We're gonna be talking about our AFL model. So Tom, it's on the hub. Um, can you talk about sort of how that was created? And we just got some um, publicly available data off AFL tables. Um, and and we, we put together a bit of a model um, for last season and, and over the off season, um, we spent a bit of time trying to refine it and sort of added some new stuff to it. So hopefully it should be a lot better this year. And uh, not that I know much about these sort of things, but I hear ELO mentioned a lot. Is this an ELO based model? Yeah, predominantly ELO, um, which is sort of a rating system that's used in sports modeling a lot. Um, but uh, we've spent a little bit of time adding some extra features um, this year. So one of, one of the features that we added is um, a bit of a, a form sort of aspect. So over the last um, few matches, um, we sort of compare your margin with, with what the odds expected or what the corporates expected. And if you've been overperforming relative to the market, we sort of say that potentially you're, you're sort of an underrated team. Um, and vice versa, if, if you're expected to do really well and you haven't been doing so well, um, the feature will sort of dock you a little bit. And uh, using the outputs that are available on the hub, um, would you be comparing them to the market? Is that the best way to use these? Yeah, I think so. Um, sometimes I think you'll find that um, the markets are really efficient in AFL, so um, a lot of times you'll have the, the sort of the rated prices or the model output um, really similar to the market. And that's probably not a, not a match that you want to bet on, but every now and then you'll get some um, reasonably big deviations from the market and then that's when you probably want to put that on. And this is exclusively team-based because I hear a lot of um, stuff about player-based models. Yeah, yeah. So um, the next level of sophistication, I think, is going to a player-level model where you, you create um, inputs based on who's actually in the team. So if there's a sort of a big key player out on a Thursday night, um, the model, um, this model doesn't pick up on it. It's a team-based model. It just assumes the team is as it was last week and for, for the previous season. Um, so if, if there is a big player out, a significant player out, um, that's also another situation where you probably don't want to use these ratings. And if you were interested in creating a similar model to what you guys have here, uh, where would you go? Yeah, so we have the code for this model on GitHub. Um, and we also have a bunch of other walkthroughs for some um, other sports codes. Um, but yeah, some great resources on our GitHub um, and the code that we used exactly to build this model. Yeah, cool. And I think we've got a couple of exclusive AFL modeling content on the hub as well. Um, so we'll be able to uh, direct you to all of those um, after you guys click the link and sort of dig around. Thanks a lot for your time, Tom. I really appreciate it. No worries at all.